Are mentors necessary? Technically, no. There are so many ways to learn technique, including online courses, books, magazines, and of course, artist channels on YouTube. The right mentor, however, can teach you how to think about your art. The late Ellie Eagle was an artist and a feminist leader in the contemporary art scene in 1970s New Zealand. I'm blessed to have had her as a friend and as a mentor. When I met Allie back in 2009, I had just completed Noble People Treasured Land at the Anderson Park Art Gallery, and I was in the midst of preparing for ephemeral perception. Allie encouraged me in new ways to think about my own art, its meaning, and also my art career. She never taught technique. I invite you to click the link in the description to read the tribute I've written about Allie on my website, beverlyclarage.com. Join me now for the second episode of Creating Red Playground, Finish What You Started. There I share more about Allie's influence on my art. Allie Eagle always encouraged us to continue referencing things that we've done in the past. As I continue this journey, my plans are just to keep on honoring her admonition to have a contiguous body of work. As far as my thoughts on what I've done so far, I actually like it quite well. I was a little bit disappointed with the drop. That's one of those things I'm allowing myself to make mistakes. I'm glad it's not too strong. I don't think it's, I don't think I'm going to deepen that anymore. There's a circle here and I haven't decided if I'm going to continue making that darker or not. I also need to put blue in this area. I'm going to put some yellow in this area. I think I'm going to strengthen this yellow because in the original, the yellow here in this particular uh, area was quite strong. So I want to go ahead and make that stronger. Although this is going to be a piece on its own, I still want it to have some kind of reference to the original. And I envisage these being hung together, so I want them to relate to, to each other. I'm going to strengthen this just a little bit, the, some of the yellow over in the upper left quadrant. It's almost like... There's a piece right there that was a mistake with the yellow. The pigment got a little bit concentrated there and I'll probably incorporate that into the final design. I've given myself permission just to not worry about mistakes. I actually did another piece during the winter. Spent quite a bit of time with it. I actually put it up on Instagram before I got removed from Instagram because I got hacked. Never mind, we're moving on. In the end, I decided I just didn't like it. It was a good experiment, especially considering we were getting ready to go into an extensive uh, repair of our home. All the floors needed to be repaired. I was determined to keep on creating and so I've learned this year, sometimes you just gotta say uncle. There's a time and a season for everything and the season to get out of the studio, put my brushes away, and concentrate on something else was, was evident. When I looked at the piece, I ended up not liking it. There's parts of it I liked, and that's, that's the lesson I'll take away from it. I'm gonna put away the yellow for the time being, and I'm going to put on the blue. Now, I'm actually wanting this to be reasonably strong blue. Again, referencing what's happening in the original, which is, it's pretty strong. Even though the blue is quite strong, I, I think I'm, I'm going to work, I want it to be strong. But as I apply it, I try to be a little bit sculptural. I'm doing this circle and I'm trying to go ahead and apply it in a circular motion. As you can see, that's got pretty high chroma. I'm anticipating that it will fade a little bit. Now on this one, I'm actually gonna leave the bottom of this one. I want to see the intensity of the chroma on the bottom half versus that on the top. So we shall move on over to the right side. My working title for these are, are Playground, the subtitle of Finish What You Started. Maybe you have a, a better idea for me. If you do, let me know in the comments. I usually end up coming up with pretty good ones. As I'm working, it kind of speaks to me. This title comes out. In my narrative, a real 
realistic paintings. I used to do a lot of writing and thinking and all that and planning and plotting. And so, yeah, there was definitely, I almost knew what the title was. With these though, I'm, I'm just relaxing and seeing what happens. On my last narrative realistic show, which was Out of Hand, uh, that's one of the things that's from out of hand that's called who do you say that I am Allie Eagle told me that she wanted to create the titles for me after I painted them after I finished them and that was that was actually a terrifying thing to do but I'm so glad I did and, and to be honest she didn't like the titles of some of the things that I had for my ephemeral perception but I will go ahead and put the yellow in. Now, I don't want this as intense. I'm actually wanting this more intense. On the original, I stained the whole support or paper. Oh, I love the way this looks. It looks like marbling. It's like marble. I don't know if there would be such a thing as um, sort of orange and yellow marble, but maybe some of you know. If you do, I'd love to know in the comments, but this is very pretty. Really, really interesting. Just beautiful. Look at look at the beautiful marbling in this area. I just am really, really pleased with that. Same thing over on the part where the concentric lines in the bottom piece. I actually like that look. That's just a really nice look. It's blue and yellow and red from where I did the original dyeing that showing through. I'm hoping that in this left lower quadrant that the simplicity of the original alongside this very strong red circle there will uh, be a nice contrast. I may have to intensify it or do something with the circles here. Well, I think that's where I'm going to pause for the day. What fun! <laughs> oh, I love this. Thank you for joining me today. You can see part three of me creating Red Playground. Finish what you started by clicking here.